Xbox, fuck a PS3 I buy that 32 X and Sega CD I heard that Mac, I'm gonna say the Genesis So fucking Genesis and it sounds what Nintendo fucking don't What's happening everybody? Gale Thrasher once again and now we're on scene 5 of Batman Returns. This time you get to have fun in the Batmobile because Batman has a need a need for speed. In this entire level you're just shooting uh, bikers well obviously biker clowns. Dodging them in any way possible they're gonna jump jump above you try and run you over at the same time they'll be head-on collisions with the other bikers. Eventually they'll shoot you, they'll shoot, um, <laughs> basically the bazooka clowns are now riding along trying to shoot you. What you want to maintain is uh, smooth left and right movements. Try not to be so random, especially when they're shooting the missiles at you. They get really smart because you, you think you dodged them and the moment you, you moved, you just get blasted. There are times where they'll even pause. You, you, You'll expect them to shoot the, the same pattern as they do. And unfortunately, you're just moving around. And when you think you dodge him, next thing you know, oh, shoot. He target you right when you want you. And fun fact about the Batmobile. On the movie Batman Returns, the live action, did you know that a Batmobile is actually a Chevy Corvette? Oh, yes. It has a Chevy Corvette chassis has a body of one with the mortar as well just on the outside you got the bat look true fact though it is it does have a jet turbine engine just not the replica uh, not the replicas the one you see on um, what do you call it I, I think like, there are several people that um, they were able to buy off the actual Batmobile but without the, the jet turbine engine and it does go 330 miles per hour with the booster. Now, unfortunately, this is where I failed. But that's fine, because I have one life left. This will be my second continue. This time, I take note of the patterns and do a more careful job. So right when you start, you won't be able to shoot all of them. That's fine. Your, your main purpose is to dodge them. So maintain smooth left and right movements. You want to stay in the center in this part. And then also try to move only a little bit. You, it may seem like they'll hit you no matter what, but there's a, there's a space where you are, even though they look like they hit you, they don't. You just want to maintain, avoid them from hitting you at the center of the mobile. You can get away with a little a little grazing as I call it, a little scrape on the side, but you should be fine. Just whatever you do, don't let them ruin your paint job. Or in fact your car altogether. Now here comes with the bazookas. When there's three of them, it's a lot more annoying. So like I said, maintain a smooth left-right movement. Try not to be too random like I did right there. And yes, it will get tricky because they'll, they'll shoot you and then more will pop out of nowhere. So hopefully your reflexes are as good as it is. And yeah, like I said, try to avoid center. If anything, stay on one side of the road and then just move left to right. Eventually, they'll stop shooting and try and run you over. There will be pauses where you'll get uh, small areas of bonuses where you get to collect points. And then they're going to be on attack again. Once again, they're gonna try and run you over. Keep smooth left-right uh, movements. Don't be too random. Even when you're turning, it will. Whenever you turn, it's gonna throw your your uh, your car off for a second. But see how I do it? Just keep it smooth. Oh, except for that part, unfortunately. Yes, this. Oh man, this this part just threw me off so bad. And don't try to hide towards one side of the road. You'll you'll get hit. They, they will catch on to you. There are times where you will get away with moving towards the wall and you'll be fine, but once again, don't get don't get too confident in that strategy. Now if you lose, unfortunately you have to start all the way in the level until you get to this part. This part counts as a checkpoint. After collecting those bonuses, guess what? It's boss time. 
And there's the the campaign, I guess. That's what they call it. So it's a van with, I think there's three. Ah, I know, I failed, but that's fine. Unfortunately, the checkpoint takes you right back here, where you're still going to be under attack. You're going to repeat this one, where the clowns come and shoot you. And then the part where it's going to be a double pattern where you're going to have the, sh the clown shooting missiles at you while there, there's a group running at you. Like I this part right here. You can hit him, but let's face it. I, I doubt you can pull it off trying to destroy him. And so here's the two bikers again. They have quite a lot of health. If you're, if you're able to just tell them shooting the whole time, but by all means, be my guest. But honestly, just dodge him. You don't have to really kill him. And so now we're going to try again with the boss fight. It's Roll Rash, baby. In the beginning, it won't attack. Instead, you're going to have his minions just tr more of those little bikers trying to run you over. Yes, it will take a while. It's going to start shooting missiles. Your best bet is to stay one side of the road and then move all the way towards the other. Whenever you see him. In fact, in general, just, just move one side of the, of the road. It's, it's going to show, it's going to throw dynamites at you. It's going to stop attacking for a second. If, if it closes up on you, it's just to scare you for a second, but at the same time, it's just to give you easy hits. Once the, the life mirror is orange, it's going to throw more and more dynamites. I should have waited patiently. Unfortunately, I moved in front of the dynamites. At this point, the the, tr uh, the group get desperate, and they're going to sh start shooting missiles everywhere. You still want to maintain a, a smooth left-right movement, but you're allowed to dodge in between. As long as you maintain the smooth movements, the smooth driving as Batman would, you should be all right. And thank you for watching scene five. Stay tuned for more. We're almost done. I got this and probably two more levels. Get a little thrasher and peace out. Now,